up, man? Too late. Too late. All the good stuff hey, coming? Early bird gets the warm, bro. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Dang. Oh, you thought I was kidding. <laughs> you ain't lying. I'm gonna get this guy. Just pick your pile. All right. Dang, look at all the cookie jars are in, huh? She just popped in the trailer, just popped in. She's coming back in, dude. Oh, really? Oh, is that one lady that had that big old box? Yeah. That's for second one. Oh, okay. So if you guys haven't guessed, if you haven't guessed by now, um, I came to this estate sale yesterday and they had some great, great stuff at really good prices and they said they had a half off today. So I had to come back. My fault was not uh, getting here early enough because a bunch of cookie jars that I wanted to look at, they're all gone. And this lady bought a bunch of them. So looks like it's more slim pickings today, but I think we'll still do good. I did, I did, but uh, well, it's too late. Oh yeah, just almost there. Yeah, it's all right. You probably could have been like ten minutes earlier. You probably could have been good. Yeah. I mean, like this guy here. This is four dollars. It's for a cookie jar. And I'm guessing the salt and pepper shaker. But you can't beat four bucks because it's half off today. And this guy here's a Pier 1 tea set. These go for good money. It's 12 bucks, half off today. Gems might be back here. See, two fifty. That's gonna be two fifty for five bucks. You can't go wrong with that guy. I don't know about him. Dumpty Planner. <laughs> I don't want to load up too much on glassware, to be honest with you. Flits and Floyd. It's not bad. about these two but I'm not sure got this Oreo cookie jar 
You got this one that just says cookies on it. I've had some porcelain dolls in my booth and they do not sell for me. Yesterday, I was like, man, I gotta come back tomorrow. Yeah, they got the best prices for the state sale companies. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, that, we're waiting in the market for that thing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. 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 Yeah, that's Did you get this? Yes, I did. Okay, so you want to do Yes, yeah.
של כל זה. So I had to leave the estate so I did leave my pal there and I left uh, you know all my stuff and um, they know I'll be back because I bought all the stuff yesterday but I've got this real nice fire pit in the back of the truck I'm not sure if you guys can see it if not I'll put a, post a picture over here I'm not sure if I'll be able to film the transaction because they're already there to meet me and that's something that I picked up in the trash so if you guys are new to my channel and um, which probably most of y'all are not but if you are what I do is I go trash picking I find stuff like that real nice in the trash, I sell it, and then I use that money to buy stuff at garage sales and estate sales, which then I post that online or I take it to the antique booth. So it's like the circle of life, you know, when it comes to this stuff. You know, you buy, find stuff for free. I use the money that, you know, I found for free, and I, and I sell it to make more money. So it's, it's just a never-ending cycle, but it's fun, and it's like a treasure hunt, and I really enjoy it. Um, it should fit. It should fit. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's cool. Yeah, you got the handle right here. This? And uh, so you can lift this up. This is the camera It won't get hot. I'm gonna. Hey guys, so I'm doing a giveaway for this awesome James Avery Sterling Silver Ring. It's a scroll ring, it's a retired piece. And in order for you to enter, what you gotta do is hit subscribe. You gotta be subscribed to win, guys. Um, like the video and comment on this video. Let me know that you've uh, done these three things, you, that you've liked, subscribed, and left a comment. Let me know that you did those three things. And if we get to 60,000 subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully, I'm gonna do a drawing. I'm gonna give away this ring. It's size seven and a half currently, but I'm sure you can take it to any James Avery store and they'll size it for you. So uh, do it now, like. Be subscribed and uh, comment so let me know you did it. Thanks. All right, guys, so we're here at home and I'm going to go through the stuff that we found at the garage sale. Um, I, I went ahead and included the stuff that I, I bought yesterday, um, even though I didn't film yesterday. It was kind of an unexpected trip, to be honest with you. We were coming home uh, from the booth and I saw the sign and we pulled over. It was late in the afternoon. And I found a few good things. I'll show you here on the second part. But let me show you first what we found the first, uh, the second day. You see, this is a Pier 1 set. Um, it's like a tea set. Uh, it was $20. Everything that I'm showing you, it was half off today. So I paid $6 for this guy. 
this little cookie jar. It's small, but for five bucks and then half off, you know, it's kind of hard to pass up on that guy. Really cute. This guy here was 12 bucks. Jackpot cookie jar. And then I have this one. This one looks uh, like it's like a butter, butter churn style. It also has the salt and pepper shakers here. And lastly, in this little spot was this nice looking swan. It was kind of hidden in the back. Um, I actually didn't see this guy the first day I went, or else I might have picked it up the first day. But it's, you know, hand blown glass, Murano style. These sell pretty well at the booth. Here's some more stuff that we found. She had these um, metal kind of like spatulas. I forget the technical term for these, but you know, they're for picking stuff up at the grease. And they're made in Hong Kong, uh, vintage. And she had them for 50 cents each, half off today. So I basically got both of them for 50 cents. And um, I'll be putting comps of what all this stuff is going for as we go through it. These two little Snoopy banks. wasn't bad that one there and this one here now I didn't notice this was cracked it might have gotten cracked in the box and moving it around I didn't notice it up there but um this has got a little bend in it too but for there were only two bucks so I got them for a dollar each this colored glass has been selling pretty well at the booth so when I see a unique piece, I try to pick it up. This one is real nice. It's like a really deep red. Almost almost a burgundy kind of shine to it. Real nice. Um, this guy here is a piggy bank. No, she had a 40. Uh, the only thing, I asked her if she could make me a better deal on this one. Because it, it was missing the plug at the bottom. And I uh, kind of spent, we spent a lot of time last night uh, talking with her, um, showing her, you know, different ways that she could price stuff on eBay because she was just looking stuff up through Google. And, um, and for people who resell, we know that's not the best way to do it. Uh, we go through the eBay app and I uh, check sold comps, um, maybe even check worth point, but she wasn't doing none of that. So a lot of the stuff that she had was priced a little bit too high. And uh, she worked down the price a little bit on this one for me. Nice little strainer. Nothing special, but it's only a dollar. I should get a good thing about eight to ten bucks for this guy, at least. And these guys, um, a lot of y'all already know this, but for those who don't, if you guys buy and resell, uh, these vintage measuring cups, especially with the pores like this with the lids on them, they go for a decent amount of money. And a lot of times you could buy them for really cheap at garage sales. People just, you know, don't really know what they've had. And to find them with the lids like this is a little bit more rare. These were five bucks each, one for two fifty. And um, I'll put comps here. There's this one. I got this little bigger one right here. And these are both by, um, was it Rubbermaid? Oh, no, Tupperware, I'm sorry. All right, lastly today, uh, I did pick up this bag full of this vintage uh, plastic fruit or wax fruit or whatever it is. You have different ones, different apples. Some of them got this really nice high gloss to it. I mean, this guy looks like a real apple, to be honest with you. And um, it was basically all for uh, $12. So I think I'm going to put stickers on these and put them at the booth or put them in little bags. I'm not sure how I want to sell these yet. So y'all uh, y'all tell me what y'all think, how I should sell those. If these uh, should be individually or if I should put them like in lots or eBay. I don't know. 
I've never sold this kind of stuff. But the only reason I picked them up is because in one of my videos I passed up on some. And uh, a lot of y'all chimed in saying I should have picked this up. So, there's more stuff in here. And it looks like a real eggplant. <laughs> so, and it's pretty much, you know, just of it. An onion, no garlic, just garlic, yeah. I um, also picked up these Sony uh, keyboards. They're a dollar each. And anything Sony that's electronics, I usually try to pick up, especially when it's that cheap. I'm basically, I'm 50 cents each. And um, I'm going to put here comps to see what, what they go for so you guys can see. All right, here's the last bit of it. This is uh, University of Las Vegas Rebels. It's like a little poster or plaque framed. Um, I don't even know what she charged me for this, to be honest with you. It might have been a buck or two, I don't remember. But I thought that was really cool, so I picked it up. Um, this guy here, I actually bought today. But I want to include it because I got the rest of these little toys and stuff like that. This is a coin bank. And it's Incredible Hulk, it's pretty big. I mean, if you... Uh, Okay, look at it compared to me. You can see how big it is. And what I do like about it is that it does have the original stickers, as you can see there. If you look at these online, um, you see a bunch of them that are cracked. This one's not cracked. And the cutout is still in. So it's never been punched. It's never had coins in it. And uh, they've never punched it out in order to take out the coins. So uh, that gives it a lot more value, being that it's still considered to be in unpunched, unused condition. Some fading in the hair, that's common on these pieces, but still some good color to it. All right, what else did we get? That's another coin bank. This is uh, Grimace from the McDonald's, uh, McDonald's brand. 1985 it's pretty old still in really good condition again the rubber piece is in there never been punched through no cracks no chips the paint's actually in really good condition it looks i mean practically new to be honest with you and i got this guy for six dollars it was no discount yesterday so i paid full price for that one but i'll be showing you comps here so you guys get an idea of what they go for this other coin bank I liked it just because it kind of looks cute with the smiley face and the heart. Again, that's important there. It's not punched. No cracks. A little minor blemish there, but I mean, you can't, you can't hardly even see it on the camera because of the glare, but I'll have to look and see what these cops go for. It's kind of hard to find this piece, but for five bucks. I couldn't pass it up. Another Snoopy toy. This guy here, um, it's kind of hard to do, but, but you put this arm down and he's supposed to pitch a ball to you. It's got like a little spring-loaded arm there. Hard to do with one hand. Um, also bends over, you know, his legs are moving around. Kind of discolored, I'll have to hit it with maybe a magic eraser or something. See if I can get all that stain off of it but it's not cracked I don't see any major cracks or anything like that three bucks I mean I couldn't pass this guy up and stuff like this that's different just eye catching is good for the booth it gets people to come inside just to take a look around oh there's a small crack there but um it's nothing major and these people come look in your booth take a look see what you got so I like getting pieces like that. This is a little lamp. Now this guy had a, a casualty. It did have the top piece to it, which is right here. But in transport, it broke. So I don't think I spent too much on this piece anyways. I think it was like $2. So I could still sell it just this bottom piece. I don't think I could fix this guy. It's in too many small pieces, and I think it looked ugly anyways. I spent four bucks. 
and I got it today. Yeah, so I spent two dollars on it. Yeah, so I'll probably just sell it like that as is. Maybe put five dollars on it. This little dish here. I'm not sure if it's like a butter dish or a candy dish or something. It's kind of got a bevel to it, and it's a picture of the Alamo. Anything Texas related sells real good. Obviously here in Texas, um, it was only a buck, so I picked that guy up. And I got these for, you know, a little candy dish. Once uh, Christmas comes, gets closer, we're gonna put this out. Uh, Christmas 1970, so it's definitely vintage. Good colors to it. This this style is real popular. This is the other one. So we'll get that out probably in a few months once Christmas gets closer. And one thing that's been selling really well for me is pink glass. You got these little candy dishes that are upside down umbrellas. And it's that pink frosted glass. And that stuff's been selling really good at the booth. So I picked up these two. Um, I want to say, what? Yeah, they were $2. No, $10 for the set of two. And did I get this today or yesterday? I think I got this yesterday. Because I could sell them each for about $15. And then I got this little frosted glass. Iris liked this one, so she picked this one up. You know, that pink, pink glass has been selling really well, like I said. So we'll see. We did swap numbers at the um, at the antique sale. So what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna go over there maybe tomorrow evening and try to scoop up some more stuff. She said that I can have it for 70, 80% off, if not even cheaper. She just wants to get rid of it. Um, so I might pull up there with the trailer, maybe take Chris with me, I'm not sure. And we're gonna go to see what, um, see what we can pick up because you know, we gotta start getting ready to get this booth ready for Christmas and uh, for the, you know, towards the end of the year starts picking up so we're gonna get ready for all that stuff all right guys so that's gonna do it for today um hope you guys enjoyed the video a little different uh video today haven't put out a garage sale video in a very very long time uh, i'm gonna try to record one every now and then to try to slide in between the trash picking video so this is not by any means gonna take the place of the trash picking video uh you'll just get an extra video to watch every now and then um I'll, first i want to thank my buddy charlie he sent me this uh, really cool uh texas longhorn uh cast iron plaque thing and i'm thinking i'm probably gonna hook it up to the trailer i just need to find a way to uh safely get on there so it doesn't fall off because i really like it it's really cool i do have a peel box down at the bottom if you look in the description so if anybody wants to send some mail or just whatever you know just say hi through uh through mail you can do that there uh the peel box is listed there and yeah charlie thank you so much for sending that i really appreciate it let me leave you out with this father just want to thank you so much for the many blessings thank you for the for opening doors and putting people in our lives father uh, that not only that they could bless us for us to be a blessing, but for hopefully that we can bless them as well I just want to thank you for the viewers for the subscribers Lord that you continue to bless them and that you meet their needs father You know their needs I just ask you that you just reach out and that you touch them and that they want to know you better father um, It's in the name of your son Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. All right guys. Thank you so much for watching Hope you guys enjoy the video till next time. Peace